get started here in just a second. Gonna allow folks to join while I am looking up one final bag name because I did not capture it in my notes, but maybe I will let you all find it for me. That may work. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Sunday. Welcome into the chat. I hope you have all had an amazing week. Please go ahead and hit the thumbs up if you have not already done so. I'm glad that you were able to join. Um, I don't ha I have not done a community post, it feels like, in a couple of weeks. But there will be a community post that goes up on Tuesday morning. So be sure to be on the lookout um, for that. I am asking a question because as I have been watching the infamous what's in my bag, what fits in my bag videos, I am wondering what people get out of watching those. I, I know what I get out of watching them. I know why I look um, for those kinds of videos, but I am curious to learn from the community do we watch those uh, videos for the same reason or if there are other reasons? So again, that uh, post will be up at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Tuesday. So be sure to participate in that uh, poll question. If you did not participate in the poll questions that were um, up during the Christmas, New Year, Thanksgiving, uh, time to cast your vote on those questions. They are also still available on the community tab. Please be sure to go through and uh, review those and cast your vote um, in those active polls. They do remain active on the site. So this evening, I see so far we have a says what happy Sunday. Carla has joined Regina. Happy Sunday, Miss Angie. Hello, Ella Porter. Welcome to the chat. Glad to have you live and in living color. We also have a Samantha Cox. So, Samantha, thank you for joining. Ladies, if you would, please go ahead and hit the thumbs up if you have not already done so. Um, there will be a pretty full enabler corner this evening. Hello, Lisa J's world. Welcome. Happy Sunday. Uh, but there are a few people that have influenced tonight's uh, Feed Your Addiction. But I did want to kind of reflect on something that hit me like a ton of bricks today as I was uh, jotting down some notes for uh, our time together tonight. Happy Sunday, Lucinda. And that is that I feel like in January, at least for a few years, I have gone on this bag comparison um, journey. Um, there was a January that I kicked off the year with the size comparisons of the small, medium, and large Russell. And that video um, gets referred often. It is constantly receiving views, so I think that it's a popular one. Then, um, a couple of years ago, I did a, a January kickoff, and it was a comparison size-wise for the Dunienberg Leisure Shopper compared to the LV Never Full family. And like a ton of bricks today, I am thinking about some of the conversations that I've had with my tribe sisters, thinking about some of the pictures that we've exchanged, um, to have just kind of that whole experience. And I thought, you know what? I am going to go down this path yet again in January um, to do some higher end comparisons to our beloved Dooney and Burke. And tonight, I am specifically going to fo uh, focus on Hermes and Louis Vuitton, um, but in a way that hopefully um, inspires you to make a 
decision, make your handbag decision in 2022 um, with a couple of things in mind. The first is, um, it, I'm going to present it in this, uh, the age old question, which came first, the chicken or the egg? Now, some people would say it's the chicken because you have to have the chicken first to have the egg, but don't you have to have an egg in order to hatch a chicken? So that whole riddle, right, is kind of circular in nature. And I say all of that to say that I think that there are some bags, some silhouettes, some even brands, um, well, not brands, well, yeah, maybe brand synonymous with some silhouettes, right? That came first and other designers were inspired by those bags, collection, silhouettes, function, etc. cetera. Um, and then there are some that seemingly never catch on and they are synonymous with a specific brand. Don't ask me for one right off the top of my head because I don't have one in mind. But all of that to say, we talk about dupes or knockoffs or inspired. And, you know, I'm there's nothing new under the sun, right? Fashion goes in circles. You do one thing and somebody else gets inspiration and designs it and makes it just a little bit better. Somebody will take it and add organization or add a strap or take away something or change the dimension slightly. And then all of a sudden it's new or somebody will say that it's a knockoff or it's inspired. Well, however um, that scenario goes and whatever you believe, what I'm going to be doing tonight is taking a look at some of um, the items that are more luxury brands, mainly at the price point, um, and looking at some of their inspired comparators within Dooney and Burke, and then you decide whether it's worth the extra zero, the extra comma, or whether you can be um, inspired to make another per you know an another budget friendly purchase um my tribe sister says what said something the other week that um it was hilarious to me in the moment when she said it um but it's true and military mom has her way of saying it as well so i'll start with military mom because military mom during our very first meet up in Chicago um, in the lobby of the hotel introduced this idea of Dooney math, right? And I'm sure many of you know exactly what I'm talking about when I say Dooney math, um, but that is the idea of I can spend a thousand dollars on one bag or I can spend a thousand dollars and buy three or four Dooney bags, right? At the end of the day, when you start thinking about quality and customer service and longevity and all of these other things, does the Dooney math make sense? Does it make sense to spend that amount of money on one item versus several? And I am as much about um, quality as I am quantity or variety in my collection. So that's how Military Mom uh, tees it up. And Suz actually said, you know, I don't have, um, I don't have, um, I don't have the, I think the way she said it was, I don't have the money for that bag, but I have money for a hundred Dooney and Burke purchases. And that, that really is where I'm going with this tonight between Suz What and Military Mom. Um, it's not a matter of the money, but it, is it the best spin? And for me, I just have not found um, the bag, the accessory 
that makes me um, dive into the higher end, high end luxury purchases because I have been perfectly content with my um, Dooney purchases. So I'm going to pause right there for a minute and share with you that I've been, um, I had to make a travel bag decision and I was toying back and forth on carrying something new or um, traveling with something that I've traveled with before that I know absolutely works. And um, our uh, third person to go to the enabler corner to join military mom and says what is none other than Mo Knows Beauty for a couple of reasons. One, I was having this conversation with Mo and um, I told her that I wanted to try something, but I didn't know, right? This whole experience. And then she said, well, mind you, she didn't know that I'd already been um, debating on moving back into my leisure shopper. And she says, well, you know, your leisure shopper works. Why don't you just travel with that? I mean, it works. So I, I immediately thought, you know what? It's not broke. Don't try to fix it. It works for travel. So that is exactly what I moved into. And she's full. But for those that have seen my carry before in this bag, it is less than I normally carry. I promise you we're getting back to the inspired. I promise you. All right. So here is my carry. And for those that are just joining, this, my carry, ties into the poll question that will be up on Tuesday morning at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time because I want to know why you watch what's in my bag or what fits in my bag video. So that is going to be a post that's up on Tuesday morning. Please make sure that you participate in that. What I have in here is a whole lot less than what I normally carry. I have pen pouch. I have, quite honestly, um, a coach pouch that I was just too lazy to move out of, but it's neutral enough in color that I was able to make that work. I have um, a catch-all that we're going to talk about tonight. I also have like the whole white boarding pass, extra mass scenario going on here. One piece of mail that I grabbed out of the mailbox before I left to go to the airport. Gum. I also have a wallet that we're going to talk about tonight. I've got some snacks. The wipe from the plane, which I didn't need because I had Clorox wipes. And then in the other side, I have like my coin case, some lotion, um, hand sanitizer, and then uh, latex gloves for the airport and for pumping gas for the rental car. So that's a whole lot less, whole lot less than what I normally carry. Um, and... So um, I'm thankful to Mo um, for that conversation because I moved back in with no issues and it was, as usual, an amazing carry. But Mo is also in the enabler corner tonight because this is the wallet that I traveled with last week. I know, I know, let me tell you. I was well prepared to call her while sitting at the airport gate on my return to say that this wallet was not all she said it was going to be and to like just have a, you know, meltdown, toddler meltdown in the middle of Walmart tantrum. Um, but I couldn't. Instead, this thing was perfect <laughs> I when I parked at the airport I got on the um, shuttle to take me up to the terminal where they gave me a ticket um, it that signifies if you've been into the Atlanta airport and parked you know that the shuttles 
You get a ticket with your um, the color code for the parking lot where you park and the row that you parked on so that the shuttle can drop you back off at your car on your return. That was tucked perfectly here. It stayed in place the entire time. I did not need the coin space on the back because, of course, I had my little nylon coin case um, that stayed in the pocket. And then on the interior, let me make sure I got everything. All of my cards, and look at this. All of my travel receipts, which of course I will clean out tomorrow morning when I'm doing my expense report, including my parking receipt, um, leaving the airport. I ordered another one and another one and another one. Let me tell you, Mo, um, this may very well be the best accessory of 2022. I already know. Look, y'all are saying, DA, it's January. How can you say that's going to be the best accessory of 2022? It's because y'all look at this as a wallet. For me, this is a deluxe card case because I literally moved out of a card case where I was not going to be able to hold receipts into a card case that holds it all plus all of my travel receipts, the rental car, the gas, the parking, all of my mini Starbucks trips. And it fits very nicely inside the pocket so it didn't look here let me get to the right place i'm going to take that out for just a second and show you where it stayed it has its own little kangaroo pouch and i did still have my mr good bar and a rice crispy treat that has been smushed to death. Yes, that's a real term, technical term. It fit perfectly in the little pocket, so I didn't have to worry about it taking up any space down where my wipes, where my catch-all. I am a believer. I am a believer, and I have been in text today with Candy Crusher, with Lucinda Quimbley, with Mo, with Rosalind Ellis, with VPO underscore Leo 21. And I've, I've got questions about all different kinds of small accessories because I have been made a believer and I know that I don't have small accessories in my collection. So there you have it. There's that one. So. Um, y'all, I, that one, I just knew it was not going to work for me. Y'all know I am a big wallet carrier. Now, of course, I didn't travel with my checkbook, so I did have to downsize. I don't have either of my checkbooks with me, but... Parking slip, didn't have to worry about it disappearing all week long. All of my cards, a place for all the receipts, and it fits in the palm of my hand. And it fits in the little kangaroo slip pocket in the leisure shopper. Needless to say, I'm not sure that I'm going to be moving out anytime soon. But I did order this morning a solid color in this wallet that will go with plenty of other things in my collection. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Okay, so that's there. Okay, so the LV 
slim purse. You may need another device, especially if you're um, an Apple user. For those that are Android, you can kind of toggle back and forth. Um, but handbag happy hour, um, I talked about the large or the Dooney large wristlet and I showed you the insert that goes, um, that I bought from Amazon to kind of add some organization into that. Um, is it just me or does that accessory look like the LV Slim purse? Is it just me? I'm going to give y'all just kind of a quick second to take a look at that because I did not check dimensions on that one, but to me, it's the same thing, except Dooney's is offered in suede and canvas and pebbled and Florentine and Alto and you name it, it's there. Um, and even though I took issue with Dooney not having enough organization in its version of the, um, the LV Slim purse, and I'm assuming again, which came first, the chicken or the egg. I, I'm not saying Dooney knocked off or I'm not saying Dooney was inspired by LV. I'm just saying that the two pieces are similar. Um, Dooney at least did have a little bit of organization in the interior. And um, for the price tag, all things considered, and Florentine versus the coated, I know it's available in leather, but it also comes with a much steeper price tag. So um, you tell me the Dooney large wristlet that was a part of the handbag happy hour last week, week before last, it's all running together now. Um, is that giving LV slim purse uh, vibes? And considering the number that I purchased of the Dooney wristlets it would be like if i bought the same number of those from lv it just it it just that the dooney mac doesn't work for me it doesn't work for me okay so the next one is the kirigami pouchette um it's very similar to the envelope envelope pouch that dooney had a few years ago and I, I distinctly remember two different sizes because I have two sizes one of them was a small envelope which was like a card case and then the larger one I don't remember there was a medium one I have I have all three sizes unlike um, Kirigami they were um, not sold as a set they were not sold as a trio um, but I don't think those are sold as a trio either now that I think about it. But anyway, those are inspired, um, very similar. I don't, you probably have to like check the secondary market to find them or to, if you're looking for a picture, Google images. All right. The next one, the LV Zippy coin purse is spot on with the Dooney small zip wallet. And I think that's what this is, I think. Because you know, it doesn't actually tell you what it is, but I think, no, that's not what this is. Hmm. Let me see. So let me get to my notes. So the Zippy coin purse, I think it's the same as the small zip wallet. The difference between those, of course, is the price, especially if you find the Dooney version on sale. Um, the LV version only has four card slots and I think this is not it. This is a card case. I'm pretty sure. Uh, nope. This is it. <clears throat> so, so 
the LV Zippy Coin Purse. This is the Junian Burke Small Zip Wallet. This is in Pebble. I also in Bone, and I also have it in the color Chocolate. Okay, so Junian, of course. Tons of colors, leathers, you you name it. The LV one has four card slots in it. Look at that. One, two, three, four. This is the Dooney version. It also, um, Dooney has a zip center. The LV version does not have an actual zipper here, but instead it has a very slim divider or little pouch. I don't know, a place where you could fold and slide a $20 bill or maybe a couple of quarters if you needed them for like toll roads or something like that. Um, this one was, these were on sale. I got these back in September and they were a whole $39 on sale. Can somebody check the LV site and tell me how much the LV Zippy coin purse is? I should have written it down, but I didn't. I need to know. Does 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 that make sense? These were $39, both pebbled leather, bone, chocolate. $39. So Rosalind Ellis is saying that it's $370 used. Kim is saying that she thinks that they're on ILD right now for $59. Um, but I think the LV Zippy Coin is also live right now on LV. And I'm curious between the fifty, the thirty-nine dollars I paid, the fifty-nine dollars currently on ILD because of inflation, and then a used one for three hundred and seventy dollars. Somebody help me. What's what's the difference in the inspiration? They have okay. So Sus says they are five hundred and twenty-five dollars on LV. Dimensions are similar. Gold hardware, leather pull tab. Four card slots, center zip, gusseted storage space. Yeah, I I can't. Uh, Lucinda says four eighty retail four eighty. So I'm I'm struggling. Listen, I'm not knocking. Um, the LV brand. It's, you know, buy what you buy, enjoy what you buy, um, make it work for you. But I also know that um, just like with anything, you know, people associate status and um, affluence and wealth and status and all of that stuff with, right, Lucinda, it doesn't have the center zip. It just has that little slide. It's like a little slip pocket. So, but people associate that oftentimes with brands, um, with labels, uh, you know, it, it's not any different than what we do here in the community talking about the longevity and the quality of Dooney and Burke's. Um, leather compared to some other brands or bags that aren't even made in other brands in leather that Dooney offers in leather or the different quality of coated canvas in different brands. Um, it's, it's the same thing. Uh, I just haven't gotten to a point where I am inspired enough 
and I can't find an alternative that I love enough to spend the money. All right, so we also talked on this channel about the Dooney and Burke large zip around wallet because I have several of those Florentine. I've gotten them in coated canvas with a bunch of different prints. Is that not a dead ringer for the LV Zippy wallet? There are also alternatives to in the same um, format at, at Coach. So again, just kind of reminding myself that you don't have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars to get quality goods in some of these different styles and brands. Now, do a quick search for image for an image for the Hermes Zip and Go. Z I P E N G O. Hermes Zip and Go. It's the PM. It is a toiletry pouch. It retailed for over $1,000. There were um, some iterations or colorways that were virtually double um, that cost. It was in calf skin. Um, and, you know, calf skin, depending on which animal that calf came from, is you could be a, a very durable leather or it can be a very soft, uh, temperamental leather. Um, it had a palladium zip closure, so it basically was not gold. It had more of a silver tone finish. Um, it was 7 inches long, 4.8 inches tall, and the Zip and Go PM had a butt of 2.3 inches. So, I purchased a Dooney small bag, crossbody bag, I think it was 2016 or 17, from the Toscana collection. I just had to have something in the color ginger. And when I bought this, I knew that I would not carry it, would not use it as a crossbody bag. Just way too small for me. But because the straps detached, I'm giving you the backstory while you're looking at your um, Google images for the Hermes Zip and Go. Um, I knew that with the strap detaching that I would have the option to use it as a shoulder bag, crossbody bag, uh, a clutch if I wanted to, but I purchased it with the intentions of using it as a toiletry bag, as a catch-all, as a handbag junk drawer. And um, joining the other ladies in the um, enabler corner, um, Miss Lucinda Quimbley and I had this conversation um, and went back and forth. And, you know, sometimes you just need somebody to validate your insanity. And that's why I love my drive sisters <laughs> because... They endorse all kinds of foolishness, and this was no different. So I pulled out, snapped a picture as I was moving into Mo's reason for being in the enabler corner. And I was like, doesn't that match that trim? Doesn't do I need to switch and do something else, or does that work? And she was like, oh no, it works. Absolutely. And I said, hey. Will you take a look at the Hermes Zip and Go and tell me, am I imagining things or does that look very similar, the same? Like this one is in Toscana. So for those of you that may be watching that are pretty new to Dooney or maybe haven't, um, you know, researched some of the older or even more recent collections, um, Dooney released a leather called Toscana. Toscana was in the Florentine family. Um, this color that looks more saddle, more natural, more chestnut, um, kind of a reddy brown, they introduced this color called Ginger. And there were tons of other bags, a very unique collection when they introduced the Toscana. Um, but I could not decide. 
So um, I got like a little hobo style bag that I don't think I've carried yet. Don't even remember the color, but I feel like it's in Bordeaux. And then I got this, which came with a full crossbody strap. Um, and I've never carried it as a crossbody, but I have carried it as a toiletry case, as a jump tour, as a catch-all. And that is exactly what I did with it this week with my leisure. So the ginger is a little more red than the Sierra, but not much. It coordinates, I thought, perfectly so that's what I paired it with. Now, inside here, and I'm not going into it because I want to see what you say on Tuesday when you see the uh, poll question on the community tab. But in here, I have um, earphones. I have my charger. Um, I have some extra mask. I have hand sanitizer. I've got all of that stuff in here. But for those of you that are looking at this saying, well, what in the heck is it? This is the Dooney and Burke Janine crossbody. This little pouch, toiletry inspired, Hermes Zip and Go PM. And I think I paid, it was less than 60 bucks. It was I can't say that it was a $59 wallet Wednesday because that hadn't started at that time. But it was relatively inexpensive. It was one of those amazing deals on ILD. I have gotten this thing scratched up. It's got the tiger stripes all in it. Um, and it could out and it is packed. I've got all kinds of stuff in here, and it worked perfectly in the bag. So now that we have Janine and we've talked about her as a toiletry bag, because oftentimes I know we look at other brands, particularly Coach, for those of us in this community, and we'll say things like, well, Dooney doesn't have, you know, Dooney gets beat all the time and it's accessory game by Coach and by MK. Um, and, uh, you know, but we'll look at bags and kind of see the inspiration. And sometimes I think Dooney does itself a disservice by not advertising and showing all of the different ways that a bag can be used. Now, for the first time in all of my, you know, milestone birthdays on this earth, during the holiday season, I saw Dooney and Burke actually run a commercial. So I think it was on Hulu. I've seen it online. Um, but again, it didn't show how bags are being used differently. Like they didn't show this converting from a clutch to a crossbody to a small shoulder bag. They didn't show that, but there's so much function and when I look at this, I think, well, what do I have from Coach that's not a cosmetic bag that actually has function on the interior that could be similar, right? So I just want you, I've got, it's got a zipper pocket, I've got lip chap, I've got a fan, I've got phone charger, um, a manicure set, I've got a, a thing of wipes, toilet seat cup. It's got all of that and it worked perfectly in my purse. And if I wanted to use it as a crossbody, I could dump all of this stuff out, throw my little Mo wallet, that's what I'm gonna refer to this wallet as, my little Mo wallet in here, phone, mask, keys, and I, literally out the door. So, but they also, Dooney also has that same bag in the DB um, 75 multi, um, I feel like Suz and her Clint Eastwood um, <laughs> video. Um, but here is another one. So we've looked at it as a small crossbody talked about though the pochette actually cutting the straps or adjusting it 
But could you use it as a toiletry case? I, I think that you could, not just as a catch-all, um, but these are those pieces that sometimes you don't see the potential that it has until someone else points it out. And again, that's the reason that Lucinda Quimbley is in the enabler corner tonight as well, because she reminded me that that's what I bought this for. And even though I bought this and was thinking, okay, I just didn't want to not get the DB75 in as many pieces as I could. Um, it, it could be a crossbody. It feels a little bit bigger than the um, Toscana Janine. But could it work as an actual toiletry kit? kit? Could it work as an actual cosmetic? Well, it could, but unlike those higher-end brands, Dooney um, advertises or, you know, markets its pieces as crossbodies, and then you have all of the other functionality if you want to use it in a different way. So it comes with a crossbody strap. It comes with a key keeper. It comes, you know, so that you can switch out your straps if you wanted to or if you wanted to put a wristlet strap on it, you have that option as well. But then it comes with actual organization in the inside that so a ton of those brands don't provide. So I just want to see toiletry-wise if I can pack some travel size toiletries in it if it would actually work. So, all right, let me take this off. And I don't know, did I chop down the dimensions? I did. Okay, so the Hermes, before I start dumping stuff in here, the Hermes Zip and Go is seven inches long. So, seven inches long. The Dooney and Burke one is actually eight inches long. So it's actually a little bit bigger than the PM Zip and Go. So again, Hermes is, is seven inches long. Dooney's is eight. And I'm going to check that against this one because I think this one is a little longer. This one is actually eight and a half inches long and I got it I guess it's upside down for you guys but I'm right handed so all right so it is eight and a half inches long this is the the one that's currently available on the site the Hermes one is seven inches long and the Dooney one is eight for the small eight and a half for the larger one. The Hermes one is 4.8 inches tall. So I'm gonna just drop this at five and a half. And the Dooney one is right at five inches tall. And the larger one is from the top five and a half inches tall. So five and a half, five, and the Hermes one is 4.8 tall. And the Hermes is 2.3 inches deep. The small one from Dooney is... Hmm, one and about one and three quarters deep so not quite as deep and then the larger one is two and a half inches deep yeah all right so we've got some sunscreen let me see if i can get let me see if i can actually pack it to go in a travel bag 
because those were the visions that none other than Lucinda Quimbley painted for me. So I've got a travel size body lotion because nobody wants to be out and about ashy. I've got a Sensodyne uh, toothpaste travel size. I've got a roller ball of perfume that I'm gonna slip in the zip, a slip pocket. I've got some uh, Listerine dental floss. I'm gonna stick that in there as well. I've got a small deodorant, small travel mouthwash. I've got a Good Molecules face oil. That's what we got so far. <clears throat> I've got a Charlotte Tilbury um, face moisturizer. I've got a face wash. Let's see. All right. And let's see what else. Um, got a hand sanitizer. Let's see. I don't go there, but let's see if I can get it there. No, nope, let's put it there. Okay, and then I think that's going to be it. So I have a couple of other things over here. But I don't think they're going to work. I don't think they're going to fit. So even if it's too large for you to actually use in your purse or as a grab and go, or if it's not the right size crossbody for you to actually put it inside a travel bag and use it as a toiletry or kind of as a dot style kit it works it works now of course these are not full size they're tsa travel size friendly i would imagine that this is probably just a little bit larger than a quart size ziploc bag because i think that's what they kind of still use but in here this is everything so face wash toothpaste lotion sunscreen deodorant hand sanitizer face moisturizer mouthwash, dental floss, roll a ball of perfume, face oil, and those are the tags. Is it in your cart? <laughs> Is it in your cart yet? Because it should be in your cart. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about that one. Um, and then let me let me get this put back in here. So that's not the last one. We're we're getting there. We're we're getting there. I promise you, we're getting we're getting to the end. So that one is Hermes Zip and Go PM inspired from a toiletry um, pouch um, standpoint with the strap if you want it to actually use it as a purse or as a crossbody. So it's, it's there. All right, let me dump. Oh, well, I'll keep that stuff and then we'll see the size comparison. Okay, so the next one, and it's already, um, they should, you know, if you don't have it, maybe consider it, particularly if you travel. And that is um, 
the LV Toiletry Pouch 19, which I think I saw online for $540, is giving me Dooney and Berg North South Janine crossbody vibes. And the LV version is seven and a half inches long. I mean, I'm sorry, seven, yes, yeah, seven and a half inches long. Let me get that over there. So let's just block this at eight. So the LV is seven and a half inches long. The Dooney one is seven inches long. The LV is 5.9 tall. So 5.9. The Dooney one is six and a half. Yep. Six and a half tall. LV is 5.9. And then LV is two inches in the butt. And Dooney is mm, two and a half. If you only count from this leather strip to this leather strip, it's two inches. But if you do from side to side, it's two and a half. This one I think is on sale right now on ILD for $99. LV is selling theirs for $540. I think it's at $540. It has gusseted sides on the LV version. It has um, a brass zip closure and zero organization on the inside. Dooney's comes with hardware on the side, crossbody strap, again, in case you want to multi-function, multi-carry use it. Let me get that torn off. And then organization in the interior. It has a key keeper. It has a zip pocket and it has a back wall, I'm sorry, a front wall flip pocket. So I'm going to see if it has the same organization capacity as the Janine. I'm pretty sure it doesn't, but I do want to see what it will hold. So I'm going to start with the dental floss the roller ball, the mouthwash, and let's see if we can get the hand sanitizer. That's all in the back zipper pocket. Let's see if that's gonna zip, yep. Zip with no issues. And then in the interior, we've got some face wash, that's Fresh Nivea Travel Size Body Lotion, Sensodyne Travel Toothpaste, Clinique Sunscreen, Deodorant, and this is a full size deodorant by the way, that's not a travel. And then Charlotte Tilbury face moisturizer and a face oil. Oh, I guess I should stick that back in. So there we go.
This is the Timoral Brown. This one is the North South Janine crossbody. Um, the other one is the regular size. So here we go. Here. Please be sure to hit the thumbs up. Again, you've got the hardware, so if you want a wristlet strap, I think that's a huge wristlet, but, you know, to each his own crossbody strap, you could use the one that's provided. You could shorten it, use it as a, a short, you know, small shoulder bag, or you could use one of the 10,000 guitar MK straps that many of us have from a few years ago. But it holds... It holds everything that was in here. Now, I did not use the inside pocket when I put everything in this one. This one, I did put things in the back pocket. But either way, I was able to hold everything. Now, what I didn't get in here was a vitamin C, a full-size uh, toothbrush. Um, I've got some niacinamide and then I have foot lotion because if you don't take care of your feet year round they look like you have abused them all year <clears throat> but again here is the interior there we have face oil face moisturizer Travel size toothpaste, sunscreen, travel lotion, full size um, deodorant. I just went brand dead. <laughs> uh, face wash, and in the back zipper, we got hand sanitizer mouthwash roller ball of perfume and dental floss in my tr in a travel bag in a in a small travel bag that is giving me all of the LV toiletry 19 pouch vibes so that's it. I just I just know that there are lots of alternatives. Dooney's coated canvas has yet to disappoint me. It um, has proven to be worthy of the spin. It has proven to be durable in and out of all different kinds of weathers and climates. Um, it has been functional. It has not had the glazing and cracking and customer service issues that, um, quite honestly, LV and Coach have had as of late um, with their coated canvas. And the price point of Dooney has been um, at a place where, in the words of my tribe sisters, Suz and Military Mom, you know, I've got money for a hundred doonies, but um, not not one LV. And uh, it's because the doonie math just does not make sense for me to spend $540 on one of these with no hardware, no strap, no organization versus $99 for... Um, this size and I think the L uh, I'm sorry the uh, Dooney version in the tomorrow I think is $89 so $89 and $99 respectively whether it's a grab and go a clutch a shoulder bag a crossbody or taking the strap off and actually using it as a travel piece um, as a toiletry bag as a, a cosmetic bag um, on the go I think um, that the 
price and the function it's a little hard to beat and I guess that's why I do these things in January to recenter me on what is available by the different designers that they are all being inspired by each other and that if you just look and maybe think a little outside of the box from the way that an item is being marketed then you can find all kinds of luxury goods luxury inspired goods um, without breaking the bank there are 57 of you in here watching only 26 thumbs up i would kindly ask that you hit the thumbs up before you head out if you have not subscribed to this channel i would kindly ask that you do so please check out all of the channels for my tribe sisters but especially those that um, are in the enabler corner because of uh, tonight's um, live. Um, so Military Mom, Suz What, Mo Knows Beauty, uh, Lucinda Quimbley, please make sure that you are checking out all of their channels and their content because even influencers get influenced by other influencers and these ladies have absolutely done their job um, with influencing several purchases um, for me as of late. So I hope you all have an absolutely amazing week, um, that you have fun shopping the winter clearance sale on ILD. If you have not been over to check out the winter clearance sale, then by all means um, do so because you are missing out. And um, this little baby right here, let me just, oh. I am a convert. I have been converted. I have been semi-delivered because I survived a week of travel with a small wallet. I had everything that I needed. Not one time did I complain. Not one time did I think, oh, I need a big wallet. It was amazing. So, um, Lucinda, your picture has definitely inspired me and I am gradually building all of the pieces to my set, even though I forgot to tell you I got the cancellation on my back-ordered weekender. So, you know I wanted to have a Walmart toddler tantrum when I got that email. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm still on the lookout. And so far, I am absolutely pleased with the purchases that I have made thus far in 2022. This is going on the top of the list. You just watch what I tell you come December, January, 2022, 2023, when I do my best of you will be seeing this little goodie all over again. So make sure that you are checking it out. It is available in the Greta. It is also available in uh, pebbled leather. And I feel like I saw it in Safiano. No, Wexford. I think it was Wexford leather. So be sure, be sure, be sure to check it out. You'll be seeing more of that one because I was very pleased. All right, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Have an amazing week. Be safe, be safe, be safe, be safe. Enjoy your carry. And please don't forget to be on the lookout on Tuesday morning, 6 a.m. Eastern. I will have a community post to um, my community tab. I will have a poll to post to my community tab. Let me get my words together poll to post on my community tab because I want to know when you go to look at the what's in my bag, what fits in my bag, what is it that you are looking for? So um, I look forward to seeing your responses on that community um, poll and uh, reading your comments because I think it's going to um, start some um, early week discussion. So, um, Lucinda Quimbley, Diva 9000, Rosalind Ellis, Lisa J's World, Carla, 
Miss Angie, My Pursuit of Happiness. Um, who else do we have? Zelta, uh, Lisa Jones, Dawn Hill, DJ King, Love and Handbags, um, LV Lux Girl. Who else do we have? Suz What? Who else do we have in here tonight? I hope I'm not skipping anyone's name. I'm scrolling up to make sure that I have said hello, Kim, uh, Becky, Eyes, um, to see. Welcome. Happy Sunday. Thank you so very much for joining, ladies. I appreciate you being here, for you engaging in the chat, for helping to keep tonight interesting. Um, Candy Crusher is in the enabler corner as well because of the damage she caused me to do today but that's a whole nother story she's getting like um uh, her and mo are getting like little permanent um sweets they're they're getting you know okay uh b star sunflower six candy crusher happy sunday welcome thank you um, for always influencing Samariah Robertson, welcome Samantha Cox, Ella Porter, uh, Regina Ferguson. You all, you ladies are absolutely amazing. I appreciate all of your time. Please hit the thumbs up before you head out. Have an amazing week. And until next time, I do hope you find something that feeds your Dooney addiction. Take care.